Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the West Ham Network. I hope you're keeping safe and well as per usual. Now, there is lots to update you on. Um, we obviously heard the official news, which was right from West Ham coming out and actually announcing the fact that West Ham wouldn't be keeping on David Moyes past this summer. His last two games in charge will be Luton Town and then, of course, the away game to Manchester City as we look to bring in Julian Lopetigu, the former Wolverhampton Wanderers boss, also Real Madrid, Spain, Sevilla, just to name a few teams that he has managed in the past. We've gone over who he has managed, etc. We've got some exciting content coming out for you regarding Julien Lopetigu um, over the coming week. So please keep an eye on the channel and some interesting guests that you'll find very familiar in the mainstream media as well, discussing with you all things Julien Lopetigu. Um, but the situation is that he is set to become our boss, but unfortunately, uh, Formally unveiling him will probably be delayed until after the final game of the season. Now, we did confirm, like I said, that David Moyes is leaving by mutual consent when his contract expires at the end of this campaign, bringing an end to his four and a half year spell at West Ham. Um, and to be honest with you, respectfully, it's the right time. But I will absolutely respect you, David Moyes, for the rest of my life for what you've brought in terms of memories to me individually as a West Ham fan. Honestly, even now when I'm thinking about it, I get goosebumps and I'm getting those goosebumps right now. Right now. So fair play to you for being able to give me those best times. Now, both Moyes and the club had long insisted that no firm decision on his future would be made until the summer. However, it was been clear for weeks that um, he was probably going to be heading for the door. And especially after that kind of terrible defeat against Chelsea, which really signaled the end of our European hopes um, and really had to push forward any plans West Ham had and had to go into advanced stages of looking at a new coach. Now, the announcement means that West Ham fans will have an opportunity to bid farewell to him um, at the game at the London Stadium at the weekend versus Luton Town. And I really sincerely hope that he will be respected. I believe he will. I believe he will. Um, internally, though, apparently, according to some reports out there, there is a sense of regret around the public manner in which the pursuit of any potential replacements has played out in the mainstream media. Um, and rightly so. They should really take a hard, long, hard look at themselves, but they never learn from their mistakes as owners of this club and how they conduct their business. Um, and it looks like Lopetigo's confirmation to come into the job won't be confirmed until after the last day of the weekend of football. And there's been tension between the manager, the technical director, Tim Stiden, who's been leading the search for this new replacement. And he was asked last week to stay away from, obviously, you know, first team situations for the rest of the campaign. Um, but it looks like Lopetigu has not just been the first choice of boss for um, David Sullivan, but it looks like Tim Stiden's absolutely signed off on this deal for Julian Lopetigu to come in to West Ham. Now, the 57-year-old emerged as the leading candidate towards the end of maybe back last week at some point before reaching agreement in principle to take charge at West Ham over the bank holiday weekend with the final details of the contract to be ironed out. Now, we are hearing some rumours saying that the deals that's on the table for Julian Lopetigo is going to be a two-year deal with West Ham worth €4 million, Euros, around £3.5 million pounds per season, plus a £1 million pound bonus based on performances with the option of a third year if West Ham qualify for Europe in any of his first two seasons. So that gives you a little bit of an insight into what West Ham are willing to put into this guy here. Um, now, it's also very interesting to hear some people's point of view on um, on Lopetigu as a manager. Now, what's really interesting about this Julien Lopetigu situation is that he was apparently in talks with AC Milan for months and months and months, and their fans revolted against him, and they obviously decided not to bring him in. And apparently he was very open to the move in Italy, but still really wanted to prove himself um, and prove his worth in the Premier League. And this is what I like about this appointment is he is determined to um, show up and prove his worth in the Premier League. 
and so you know after the the situation with Wills. And let's not get this wrong. The reason he left Wills was because the goalposts changed several times. It wasn't because of any other reason except for the fact that what he was promised never transpired, and he had no holes barred in terms of walking away and uh, dealing with that. Um, what he did with Sevilla was very, very good. In the last three years of his time there, um, he he really maximised his opportunity and he got the best out of his talent. And he took them to the Champions League and look where, um, you know, look how far they progressed as as a team. Um, he's got a lot of energy. He's got a lot of ideas. His philosophy is really interesting. And I think AC Milan, you know, looked like they were really intrigued about bringing him in. And what's really interesting about Julian Lopetegui is he's been linked to quite a lot of big jobs. And I think you could look between the lines and think, well, is that agent talk? But no, I, I mean, the AC Milan was a legit uh, a legit job. Um, and he's obviously been there, done that war t-shirt in many, uh, in many other um, clubs that he's been at. But there you go. The decision to bring him in will be slightly delayed based upon the fact that West Ham want to give David Moyes as much respect as he possibly can. Um, I think they'll sign the dotted line and we'll just have to be wait, uh, patient in terms of, of 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 seeing the official announcement coming in. But it is what it is on a £3.5 million a year deal with a £1 million bonus should West Ham do well based upon performances and also the option of a further year if he does get us into Europe. What do you think, Julian Lopetegu? Respect uh, David Moyes for the game against Luton for the last couple of games, given the send-off he deserves. Um, and, yeah, the future. Who knows what it holds? Come on, guys.